Hello there Taurus, welcome to your reading for the month of February. This is the um, love life reading for you to see what's in store for the end of February. So I have done some tarot cards for yourself, so as you can see here, and I've done some minimum cards also. So I'm going to first tell you about what cards you have come out for you with the tarot cards. So the first card then is Reverse Three of Swords, Nine of Wands, Six of Wands, Nine of Cups, Ten of Wands, Four of Cups, and Four Cups in Reverse, sorry, and Six of Cups in Reverse, and the Ten of Cups in Reverse also. Okay then, so with the first card we have the reverse three of swords. This is about know that your words that you speak are very powerful, especially if you feel that you're not good enough for someone. And know that you have what it takes to deserve to be loved and to love. Let go of all the hurt that you have held so tight and it keeps holding you back. Um, this is all about you may have gone through a rough patch or you actually currently going through a rough patch right now and you are or you will be on the right path to a recovery also and there is to be a lot of joy coming in for you. You will accept the hurt and the pain that have been going on and you will be ready to move forward from it also. You are um going to be trying your best to leave situations behind um and you're going to be opening a door to the new experiences of life also and you are to be at peace you're going to be the first person to be the peacemaker and always think before you speak because otherwise you will later regret what you have said also never be afraid to say you're sorry to someone with the nine of wands there may be some type of adversity where you will need to stand strong um you are going to be resilient persistent and ready to do whatever it takes to do um so what you need to do there may be um or have been some strugglings um challenges there is to be a possibility of more setbacks coming your way but you will become very strong, you will become a bit wiser and try and try until you keep succeeding. Someone may make things a bit difficult for you at this time um, or go against you because there is to be some type of um, jealousy involvement. Um, Either you have some type of insecurities or this person that's making you jealous or they jealous of you has a lot of insecurities. Don't let them get to you though um, and don't let them dim your light or dim your shine. With the six of wands then we have you will get some success and have a happy, confident, self-assured you by conquering all your fears and whatever chaos is, is going on or been going on there is to be some type of public acknowledgement for some of you and having some type of attention as well you will be very proud and you will be open to receiving love uh, and there is to be a lot of faith that you will have in yourself and in general also with the nine of cups then there is to be a lot of love and happiness and a fulfillment there's to be contentment in your love life and in general also what you wish for is going to be blooming and it is going to be coming into fruition for you there is love making and some type of temporary indulgence without any guilt for some of you also with the reverse ten of wands then there is to be some sign of doing too much by yourself and not having anyone to help you so you may struggle a lot at this time or you have been struggling but need to help yourself first for um, putting others first. There may be some type of heavy weight that is on your shoulders that you're not willing to tell anyone about. You may um, also push people that you love and there is 
um, to push your love away also as well because you may be keeping some secrets or your person is going to be keeping secrets. Um, there is some type of things that's going to be, you know, troubling you or troubling your person. But it will be a huge weight of the shoulders as well if you confide in telling someone um, while you're pushing them away and whatever it is tying you down, it will soon um, pass and it will become some type of relief if you just, you know, be open and honest about something. With the um, reverse four of cups then, we have there is to be um, withdrawal going on. And that is to try and concentrate on what is keeping you grounded. But don't shout out to the ones that loves you or supports you. Um, don't be afraid to say that you need some space or you need me time. You need to be open, you know, and express your feelings and your thoughts. But be very mindful at this time how it can actually impact on someone. With the reverse six of cups then. Um, there's some clinginess as well to the past and not focusing on your present moments. There is some nostalgic feelings and thinking of wanting things to be like it used to be in a relationship and feelings of missing a certain person for some of you. Or doing things that you did in your past relationship. Some of you may have the sense of missing out on opportunities in love in your current um moments by thinking about the past a lot uh, you need to learn from your mistakes and learn to forgive yourself and others also uh, you, you might be feeling a bit closed off at this time towards your person or people in general there may be a trip um where you'll have like that memory trip down memory lane so to speak um, where you will bump into X or bump into someone from the past um, and you don't want to tell anyone about it, you're going to keep it very quiet um, in case people will start to judge you um, or something bad will end up cropping up or something, so to speak. Um, so you will be a bit, you know, keeping it quiet. So this may be um, a little secret that you're keeping from someone. With the reverse ten of cups then, there is to be some seeking of harmony in a relationship and things that you wished for but you feel very disconnect, disconnected from your loved ones. Um, there is to be some struggling in some type of communication and each time you both try to communicate, something goes wrong and you know it ends up being more distance and putting a wedge between you both. So you need to find some common ground with your loved one and be more compassionate and respectful to one another and bring back what makes you happy. Some of you may be neglecting your family while you focus on other things in life also. Okay, with the Lenaman cards then, we have the garden cards, you have the owl cards, which is the birds cards, the bear, the wet the moon and you have the tree okay so with the garden and the birds cards either you or someone close to you will be gossiping in public about your love life or someone else's love life um for others of you they may be um a social occasion um that make you feel a bit nervous and give you a bit of anxiety at this time for others of you Oh, sorry. Um, we have the owls and the bear card. Sorry. Um, where there is to be some type of gossip with a parent or a guardian figure, or talking behind their back or talking about them. There's some type of conversation going on with the bear and the whip card. There is some type of abuse of power in the works, or there is a lot of aggression with someone um that you connect into with the whip and the moon card there is to be shame or some type of conflict between um your fears or your own needs that you um well your needs so is a bit of like 
how can I say, either you're feeling too ashamed to say what your needs are, or where your needs need to be met, or there is to be um, having a lot of fears about something and you feel a bit shamed when someone's going to say something, so to speak. Um, with the moon and the tree card then, there is to be some type of mental health going on or emotional health, um, something about your health that is coming pretty strong here. And for some of you, it is the sense of having some intuitive thinking um, about a certain situation that you're going to be experiencing at the end of February to do with your love life. Okay then Taurus, that is your end of February love, re love life reading. I hope it will all resonate to some extent. If so, please like, share, subscribe, hit the notification bell and I see you all again soon. Bye.